ladies and gentlemen, you know my next guest from Billy Elliot, Fantastic Four, and film stars don't die in Liverpool. His latest film is Skin. I'm not leaving you alone. I don't know that. what's going to happen. I don't know what they're going to do. You need to get the kids and get out of here. It's not safe for them here. Let's go. <clears throat> I'll be fine. Better be. You come back to me, okay? I promise I'll be all right. Please welcome Jamie Bell. Gotta hydrate. It's not yours. No, that's yours. That's yours. You gotta stay hydrated no, you for do, these. You do. You do. Um, and that, that clip. The, the movie is called Skin. Yes. What What is your character trying to do? What are they running away from? Well, it, it's based on a true story. I play a character called Brian Widener. He was a career neo-Nazi for uh, most of his life. That's a tough career. Yes, it's a tough one. Yeah, it doesn't pay covered a lot. Head to t doesn't pay a lot. Covered head to toe in tattoos. Meets this woman, as you saw there, and her uh, three children. And the story with him, it's a coming to consciousness, I think. You know, he, he, there's an awakening of a man. And, and he goes through two years of very painful surgery to remove these tattoos and ultimately uh, attempt to reform himself. And the film is kind of asking questions of how far do we extend our sense of compassion? How far can we extend our sense of kindness for, for these kinds of people? Uh, and also the compassion and kindness of strangers, people you've never seen before. So. This is an American story. You're playing an, an American uh, neo-Nazi. Yeah. Um, there has been an alarming rise of uh, white supremacist, um, sort of open white supremacy and white supremacist culture in the United States in the last, uh, ooh, two and a half years. And... <laughs> um, yee! And now, is the same thing happening in England? Well, uh, we, have a new prime, we have a new prime minister... Uh, who encourages that side of things, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, is Boris, is Boris, Boris Johnson, Johnson yeah, is, yeah, a, yeah. is a white supremacist? No, I don't think... No, I wouldn't say he's, he's definitely not a white supremacist, but I just think, you know, you have a clown as a president, yes. and now we have a clown as a prime minister. Right. So... Yeah. Yeah. Not a white supremacist. Uh, Let me I'll take say, that back. Say, not a white supremacist. No, no, no. Is he a white enthusiast? Yes, I, w I would say so. Brexit. Yes. I'm just... All I'm saying is, anything you guys can do we can do just as stupidly. <laughs> On a lighter note. True. You Keep also, you also uh, in Rocketman, you played Bernie Taupin. I did. Uh, Elton's uh, longtime lyricist. I did. Oh, thank you. Lyricist. Thank you. I understand you have like a long, you have a long term, you have a, a long running relationship with Elton John yourself. How did you, True. when did you first meet him? I was in a film called Billy Elliot about 150 years ago. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, so, so the, the Cannes Film Festival, uh, when the film premiered, and, um, and he was the, the, the most famous person I'd ever met, and when I, when I met him, he was just a, a weeping, shaking mess. And I didn't realise it at the time, but in doing the film and, and, and learning about him and researching him, um, and if you guys have seen the film, it deals a lot with about his father and his father not really accepting his sexuality, and, and he told me that his father never came to a single one of his shows, not one. Uh, throughout his whole career, and obviously in the film Billy Elliot, at the very end, the dad shows up. The dad shows up to see the, the grown-up Billy Elliot performing at, at the Royal Ballet School. So it just, that for him was, you know, it crushed him. Uh, but anyway, after that, he wrote the, the, uh, the music for Billy Elliot the Musical. Mm -hmm. I've always kind of felt weirdly, cosmically tethered to him because of that experience, and now it's been such a privilege to play Bunny in that, in that movie. That's lovely. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so nice to meet you. Thank, thank you for being thank here. Thank you, thank you. Skin is in select theaters this Friday. Jamie Bell, everybody. We'll be right back.